what we often assume though is that you know do you combine that appetite with a bit of evidence and someone's going to go hey that's the thing we should do let's crack on and and the reality is is that the context of implementing something new of implementing change um, is both a more complex and be quite context specific to that individual place that you're working in with that individual practice or that individual hospital or individual ward or a particular department you might be working in and um, that that it's really about understanding the nature of the context in which you're trying to implement that change that leads to either it being successful or not so i think what we really try and do is rather than saying hey we've got this shiny new thing why don't we all use it is to say, uh, what is the work you're doing on this particular area? So let, let's take, for example, Tom, the work we're doing um, uh, around ADHD, for example, as part of our national programme. Now, uh, we, we are looking at a very particular part of the pathway, uh, which is about di diagnosis of ADHD, but we're not just gonna be able to talk just about that bit. So the way in which we start the conversations with the systems that we work with is to say, what what's going on in your patch at the moment in your system around around people uh, with adhd or people it, it, who are potentially to be diagnosed with adhd what are the challenges around the pathways in which you're trying to support and provide care uh, to people for that particular issue um, and and how can we look at improving that together and and this is a potential way that we could we could forge as part of that so we tend to look at the the pathway change that's required and then looking at the context of the specific innovation that we we know is built an evidence base around it and then look at the right application of that particular innovation that particular change that we're trying to bring about in the context of the pathway and i think what often you know i think clinical teams across the country probably experience is people firing point solutions at them when what they really need is an understanding of where that point solution could fit into the context of the world that they work in and particular pathways that, and, and population patient groups they are, that they are trying to support and try and improve the care of. And that, that sense of, I guess, orientation within a particular context is often at, at, at the heart, I think, of what makes a difference between the way an AHSN might approach thinking about the adoption of something new um, versus the, perhaps how we might have traditionally approached it, which is, well, we've told everyone they should be doing it, why aren't they doing it? And, and, and of course, that would be great if that worked. But the reality is that the, the bringing about the process of change to achieve that is more complex uh, mm. complex than just pressing a button and saying saying let's do it 